my first ever investment property. I posted a photo on my Instagram a while back while the house was still under construction. And then I just recently posted one saying that my first ever investment property is finally on the market and some exciting news. It actually already sold. So we're in escrow right now. Oh my God, me saying these words literally sounds like I should be on Selling Sunset. You know, if anybody from the Open Mind group is watching this and they need a fresh face to create drama, I will be there for you. Honestly, you guys have enough drama. I will just be there with the good vibes. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the house. It is located in Woodland Hills, which is in the valley here in Los Angeles. It's 2,800 square feet, and that's not including the garage or the roof. There's five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and the house was built completely from scratch. It wasn't a flipping job, like you can buy an old house and then flip it and make it look nicer. And I'm gonna talk about more so like the business side, like the investing side, how all of that works towards the end of the video. We actually had a partner throughout this whole process. So I was 60% shareholder and he was 40% shareholder, which is smart if it's your first time, but you wanna build a big house like this one. We're gonna start off outside and then I'm gonna show you guys the entire house, what it looks like. It's really exciting. It's even more exciting that it sold. So this is the outside of the house. It's right off of Ventura in the valley. We went for this like black marble mixed with like dark wood theme. It's a two car garage and then you can park two cars out here. And then this is how you get into the house. The house is definitely a lot more in the skinnier and taller side, which is why we have this huge like staircase that goes all the way to the top of the roof. The roof is my personal favorite part of the house. It has like the best view ever and like that's where I would love to host people if I lived here. And this is the main floor. So this is the first floor. This is where the living room is. We have this dining area right here and then the kitchen. There's also one bedroom on this floor and then we have this balcony right here. So this is the first balcony. It's the smaller one out of the two. There's another balcony right above this one, but we're gonna see that one when we go up there. The house is actually staged right now. All this furniture is kind of like on loan, like because we've been having open houses on the weekends, so buyers have been coming in. And if it's just like an empty house, they can't really like picture themselves like living in here, which is why it's important to like stage a home before it goes on the market. We have this island right here. It has like this black marble and then this wood detailing and then right here, there's like a wine fridge, you know, if you're bougie and whatnot. And then when you continue on from the kitchen, this is the first bedroom. This is obviously not the primary bedroom. And then it has a little bathroom in here. And then it has this closet. Look how nice this closet is. This is a pretty nice closet for the side characters. <laughs> okay, and now we continue. I want to take you guys to the basement because it's kind of vibes in there. Here's the garage where you can park your Big Mac truck. Here is the laundry unit. And then you follow it along. This is kind of like supposed to be the office room. Again, like people can turn it into whatever they would want it to. I think that the buyers are actually in music. Like I think he's a rapper. So I feel like this is, would be a good room to turn into like a studio. I don't know if they would keep it as like an office like this. And then there's another bathroom. Can we show it up? <laughs> and now we're gonna go up to the second floor. So there's actually another entrance door on the second floor, and this is. I'm out of breath from my nose. This is the primary bedroom, which is the best room in the entire house. First of all, when you walk in, there's this huge closet. Great for people like me who have a lot of clothes. And then this is the primary bathroom. There is this ginormous tub. I love the shower. It's like black marble. It's very sleek. Then you got your double sink situation for hers and hers. 
because men suck ass. And then we have your big fat bed where you can take a big fat nap. This is where I personally would have a TV. Right across from me. And then honestly, this is fucking sick. The fact that you have this huge balcony. Hey, don't walk into the screen. Oh! I would just come here, you know, vibe out, tan a little, inhale good, exhale bad, and it would just be fantastic. It would be a fantastic time for myself. Wait, I don't look. <laughs> I honestly should have been the real estate agent. That was the main bedroom. And then, so we have another bathroom here, and you might be like, why do you have another bathroom here? Well, actually, it's because the roof is like the perfect place to like host people. And if you're hosting someone and then they need to pee, like they would just come one floor down and then you wouldn't really want them to go in the bathroom that's in your room. So that's why we have like a little half bath situation here for the people that need to pee during the barbecue. And then this is another bedroom for your second child or your backup dancer. I don't know, it's Los Angeles. Back here, we've got another closet. Fantastic. Fantastic, perfect for your outfits. This bedroom also has a bathroom, funny. It actually looks identical to the bathroom of the other bedroom that we saw on the first floor. And this is her. Sorry, my mother is telling me to close the toilet for aesthetic reasons. And this is the windowsill where you would just Gaze outside into the valley and wait for your fresh prints of the valley. <laughs> Hopefully in Calabasas. <laughs> okay guys, let's continue on. Honestly, that's, we're getting to the end. This is that second door that I was talking about. Come on over. We've got just a few more steps till we get to the top. Oh God. It's a bright day. This wasn't really built out just because, you know, some people want to put a bar, some people want to do a barbecue, maybe someone wants to do a hot tub. Like, it was kind of just left like this to give people the option. How huge is this group? I've been here for like sunset time. It looks so pretty. It's just very like fresh and you could just chill. I think I would be spending the most time here if I lived here. With all my friends, I would just have them over and we would just chill on these. Well, we would have to buy our own furniture, but. <laughs> or I'd be like, bring your own chair. Big bag, I'm in it, I get it, I got it. Going north, not south, cause I rise when I rap. Bars on flex, let me show you what I'm about, young okay. black boy. I definitely think that it's gonna be your first project. It should not be a lot that you buy and you start building the house from scratch. Especially if you don't have connections. If you don't have plugs that work in the city, that's gonna maybe like help you out with some of the permits and stuff. Like basically like you just don't really know anyone. It's a very competitive field and like the process of getting permits for shit takes years and years. So when we actually got the lot, we couldn't even start construction for two years. That's why it's so much easier to buy a really, really old house and then flip it obviously your profit is going to be less than if you like built the house from scratch and then sold it brand new but like when you do the math and you divide how long it takes with how much money you're making flipping houses is a way safer bet and then once you have like a team that you know like gets shit done and you have connections that work in the city that can help you with permits and stuff like that like once you've established all your people then i think like building houses from scratch obviously is a lot more profitable also the pandemic really made things a lot harder for us because we were already like in construction when the pandemic hit so when COVID hit, like we had to like drop everything midway through building the house because there were all these rules about how many hours you could work and who could come into work. And it was like a very unique scenario that really had no precedent. I also think like that made this process of building this house a lot longer when it really didn't need to. What I was talking about earlier about how I actually had a partner, it was like someone that my dad knew who owned 40% of the house. I honestly, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say like I would come to the construction site every day or anything like that like I was not a part of the design building process at all like I definitely was more on the like silent partner category where I was just investing money into this 
because I have my own job to do, you know, like I'm not trying to be a real estate developer or a contractor. Like that's not my goal. When I posted the picture with the property, a lot of you were like, wait, like how did you afford that? And it all comes down to what I've been doing for years. I've been on YouTube since 2012. It's 2022. It's been 10 years. And I like to think of myself as a very smart earner and smart spender. All the money that I put into this property was money that I earned by doing YouTube brand deals. It's really important to invest in every field. Real estate is one. I've been investing in crypto for a while, stocks. It's sold. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. I love you all so much. And now maybe it is time for me to go buy a Cartier bracelet. <laughs> love you. Bye.